What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lou back at it again with my team video. Today's my team video is on the Mono Ginobili. They came out with the Metamorphosis promo packs. And basically, Mono Ginobili has an Evo, and everybody in this set is an Evo, right? But when you Evo them up, it doesn't upgrade their stats, it upgrades their animations. And when you Evo up Mono Ginobili, he gets like a whole bunch of uh, different dunks. And the biggest thing is, he gets base Dante Exum. But if you guys are brand new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 400 subscribers by the end of March. And let's get right into it, man. Hopefully, you guys like the video, too, on top of it. But Mano Ginobili is a shooting guard slash point guard. 6'6", six six, 205 pounds from Argentina. He comes with a 94 mid-range, 94 three-point shot, 80 driving dunk, a 95 ball handle, a 94 pass accuracy with a 75 block, a 90 steal, a 93 perimeter defense, a 84 interior D. So his defense is looking pretty damn solid. Um, his interior D is a little bit higher than I thought they were going to give him, to be honest with you guys. Um, he also comes at a 69 offensive rebound, a 70 defensive rebound with a 94 speed, a speed with ball and acceleration, all being at 94. Um, he also comes at a 92 vertical, a 80 strength, a 95 stamina, a 92 hustle, a 93 lateral quickness. And let's check out his tendencies, man. Hopefully his tendencies are really good. He comes with a 78 crash tendency, a 90 pass interception tendency, so he is going to be able to cut off lanes. Um, he has an 85 on-ball steal, so he can get an occasional steal, literally when you off-ball on the computer. Our contest is a literal 37, which is horrible. He has a 41 shot block tendency, which is horrible. Um, so those stats are not the greatest, in my opinion. But he does come with 20 Hall of Fame badges, catch and shoot, fearless finisher, acrobat, hyperdrive, diamond, quick chain, limitless spot-up, pro touch, slithery finisher, downhill, handles for days, quick first step. Space creator, stop and go, unpluckable, sniper, unstrippable, floor general, fast twist, and triple threat, juke. And he also comes with 40 gold badges. Um, he comes with ankle breaker, pick, pocket pick, dodger, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, all ball pass, pogo stick, post lockdown, talent defender, lucky seven, blinders, circus threes, chef, giant slayer, bailout, set shooter, tight handles, clutch shooter, bad eye, stop and pop, hodgel and hunter, bullet passer, special delivery, ankle braces, grace under pressure, and volume shooter, and slippery off ball, and menace, and uh, ball stripper, and hustler, man, I was losing my breath literally reading all those damn badges, and I skipped a few too, um, so his badges are looking pretty damn good, you can upgrade like a majority of the badges on them, um, on top of it, if you do want to add some badges, like you can add limitless takeoff, rise up, mismatch expert, like rebound chaser, uh, put back boss, and brick wall, if you like putting brick wall on your point guards, uh, but we're going to go on to freestyle and test out his animations after he's been evoed. And then we're going to go on to a trip with an online game to test out his animations in there. And see high performance against other cards, man. All right, man. So he has houses everywhere except that little mid-range area right there. We're going to green one right here. No, we're not. His shot is a lot quicker than his other release before he got evoed. I will say that. I mean, that's an easy green light, man. This shot is just cash. This might be one of the best point guards in the game, to be honest with you guys. Um, he definitely is one of the quickest and easiest to dri uh, dribble with, in my opinion. And I suck at dribbling. I did already use him a little bit, not too crazy. But he does feel extremely and extremely, like, smooth, man. That's the best way I can describe him. And his shot is cash. If you guys used Mono Ginobili last year, I mean, you know how good this card's gonna be. You just straight up do. It reminds me of his, inf um, I think it was called an Invincible last year. Um, but this card is just, he's gonna be a monster, man. I had no doubt this was, like, the card that I was expecting um, today, like, to use, to be honest, to add to the team. So I'm kind of glad that he met my expectations, if I even said that right, because I'm, like, recently just waking up, and I did his Evo and literally just started recording. Um, but his shot is cash, man. His step back is going to be nasty. That step back is going to be extremely easy to time. Let's check out his leaner real quick. His leaner is extremely, and I mean extremely slow. But he is left-handed. Let's check it out left-handed. Left hand is a little bit faster, but not too crazy. Like, the speed feels pretty much the same as I'm stuttering my ass off, but it's all right. We're going to get through this video, and then I probably won't stutter that much in the rest of them. Um, his behind the back is money. It's, it's Scotty Pippins. So, you already know that behind the back is literally the, ba the best behind the back in the game. But I'm just glad they gave him Dante X and release, man. This card is going to be one of my favorite cards to use this year. Uh, we're going to agree one more shot, and we're going to go on to a triple throw online game. All right, man, so we're facing uh, Dominique, uh, Larry Nance. Oh, where's he going? Oh, my God, look at that snatch back. Easy green, man, because that is slightly green around here, man. 
I mean, the card, it just feels extremely smooth and easy to use. I, I literally just keep saying that the rest of the video because this is going to be one of my favorite cards to use this year. Especially because Mount Ginobili always gets, like, one of the cheesiest animations in the game. That is completely off. I don't know what that shot was. I mean, this man is nowhere going to be found. I'm going to hate facing this card. He is going to have to double me. Give it right back. Go to the corner. Step back. He is doubling Mount Ginobili, but, I mean, it is what it is. We're going to have to dime it off Timmy D, his old teammate, before he retired. As Rudy Gage just literally got bopped. But it's all good. We're here. We're here. He's trying to kick it out. We're already here with Dominique. That's off. We're here. We're here. Nope. Mm -mm. That's an easy double. We're already back. He's not going to shoot that. I'm not worried about it. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to get it blocked because his block ended, uh, shot tendency is a little bit uh, slow. Oh, my God. I caught him, but I faded for no apparent reason. I literally faded for no apparent reason. We're going to try to steal it. If Timmy D steals it before I even get a shot to try. Dude, this card just feels extremely smooth, man. Like, they have to double him. I have never seen Timmy D do that dunk in my life. But Mono Ginobili is diamond like no other, man. Easy steal. Easy steal. He's going to throw a Dominique. He does not want to score with Melo. Like, you can tell. He's going baseline. I'm already waiting. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. I left him wide open. That's on me. That's on me. Look at that behind the back, man. That behind the back is going to be so nice to use. He is trying to literally play off ball on me, so we're literally just going to set a screen. I literally had it, but it's all good. It's all good. We're going to make him cut because he's not expecting it. I mean, it's just going to be too hard to guard him. It just really is going to be too hard to guard him. That's an easy block. That was easy reads. Mono Ginobili got his grand badge. Oh, my God. Green Bean, you can't leave the man open. You simply cannot leave the man open. This card is... It's definitely worth the buy. I paid 100 k for him just in case like he was more than a buyout. Um, but you can probably wait and see if he's going to be a buyer or not. I just wanted to try to snipe him and get him as quick as possible because I did make that mistake with Magic Johnson. And he's definitely worth 100 k So, I mean, the card is just... I was about to say, the card is just crazy. I thought he was going to be able to make that little leaner right here. I mean, that's cash. You're not going to be able to guard him. He's too fast. That quick first step Hall of Fame, man. He, I paid 100000 and I'll say he's worth 100000 that, that's how confident I am in this card. That is completely off. Manu, I need you to pull up Matt Fort right now. Do it to him. Do it to him. I, I wanted to try it, okay? I wanted to try like a crazy jumper, see if he was actually going to be capable of making it. It's going to be an easy steal for Dominique. Never mind. Uh, I got a horrible reaching animation. He's actually locking me up a little bit. All right, man. We're going to hit him with a size up real quick. He was locking me up for a, a few seconds right there. Literally wide open in the corner. We're cheesing. I mean... Wow, that was actually surprising. I even looked at you guys in the camera expecting to make that shot without even, like, sweating, to be honest. Wide open shot. I need that. Manu, I need you to hit this one. Yes, sir. So he missed one shot with a sharp takeover, but he is extremely tired, which is all good. It's all good. It's going to happen. It's going to happen here or there. Uh, Rudy Gay should have Melo on lock. Easy steal right here. Easy reads. Never mind. I couldn't steal it. His hands are a lot shorter than a lot of point guards, but it is what it is, man. The card offensively is going to be a dog. On ball, he's going to be a dog. I mean, the card is just good, man. His handles feel extremely, and I mean extremely smooth. And he's going to be able to dime it off if, you, if they double you. Because the majority of the time, they're going to double you because they can't guard him one-on-one. -on -one. That's just the reality of the fact, man. Look, I don't know what he's doing with Melo right now. This is going to be easy steal. He's throwing it to Dominique. Larry Nance cannot shoot. I'm going to need you to stop it. I'm going to need you to stop it, my boy. Easy dunk right here. Just because he thinks I'm going to shoot it. I mean, it's going to be that simple to score on people, man. I definitely recommend this card. Let me know if you guys pick him up. If you like him as much as you like the Invincible Mono Ginobili if you used that last year. Um, but, yeah, man, this card is definitely worth it in my opinion. Even though I even I think I might have overpaid a little bit for 100 k Because I do feel like he's going to be a buyout. But I just don't know. And last time I didn't pull the trigger, like, it cost me 700 k This card is definitely worth it in my opinion. Definitely pick him up. And, yeah, it's been your boy, Lou. If you guys like content like this, subscribe to the channel. We basically upload every single day. And we out of the stand. Peace.